So joining us right now, as promised, is Sister Oriane from the Daughters of St. Paul. She wrote this new book, which I have right in my hands, Dive Deep, 40 Days with God at Sea. Sister, thank you so much for being with us. It's great to see your smiling face. Thank you. So good to be here, and happy belated birthday, Jay. Well, I'm glad to go. know that someone actually wished me a happy birthday. Thank you, Sister. <laughs> so, Sister, before we get into this really beautifully illustrated book, I was just flipping through it, I know this tells the story of salvation through events that happened at sea, but can you give us just some background on the Daughters of St. Paul and, you know, what does a day in the life look like for you? Sure. So the Daughters of St. Paul, we were founded about 100 years ago, and we were founded specifically to proclaim the gospel using the most effective means of communication. Um, and 100 years ago, that was mostly like books, radio, magazines, that kind of thing. Um, but it's changed so much since then. So our founder really wanted to make sure that we were able to proclaim the good news to the people of today, whatever our today is, and meet them where they're at. Um, and books remain a perennial aspect of that. And we also do a lot of digital evangelization as well. Um, and I'm actually involved heavily in digital evangelization. So I am currently stationed um, in social media ministry. So that's a huge part of my day. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of prayer built into our day as Daughters of St. Paul. We're founded specifically, our spirituality, on Jesus in the Eucharist and in the Word. Um, so our day really revolves around, uh, you know, just gleaning all the grace we can from Christ, allowing Him to tr transform us, and then bringing that same gift that we have received to the world. So, yeah, we have a lot of prayer in common, daily Mass, prayer on our own, um, a lot of apostolate service throughout the day. And we always close with evening prayer together, supper, recreation together as a community, and Lectio Divina. So. Well, in your book, mm -hmm. sister, you focus on scripture passages that involve events in the ocean. Can yeah. you give us some examples of that? Sure. So um, I really felt the Lord put it on my heart to explore this from the lens of the sea. Um, and as I was praying about that, there's, there's like the more obvious ones that might come to mind, like Moses parting the Red Sea, for instance. Um, but there are so many others that I had never really thought of myself. So that goes back to creation where, you know, we see the spirit of the Lord hovering over the waters. Um, it goes through a couple unexpected pulls, including a little excerpt from the psalm about the Leviathan, um, some, an excerpt from the Canticle of Daniel. And then in the New Testament, you know, we have all of those amazing stories of Jesus on the Sea of Galilee, which certainly make it in there as well. Um, but also other stories that are somehow tied to the sea. Um, and even the crucifixion, although it certainly does not happen at sea, um, has a little tie-in from an antiphon that we pray um, that is linked to the Stations of the Cross in our own tradition as Daughters of St. Paul. So the antiphon makes it in as a tie-in there so that we could really include that pivotal moment in salvation history. And the book closes with the church, the saints um, of since the resurrection into today, and all of those saints have somehow been touched by the sea. And that was a really cool thing to explore as well. So, Sister, what ages do you have in mind for this book? And, and I get the sense it's meant to be read over a period of time, like 40 days? Yes. So it is a 40-day devotional. There are 40 days of reflection for the child. It is aimed specifically at children age 9 to 12. Um, certainly it can be read beyond that age range, but that's what it's especially targeted and written towards. What if your mind is that of like a 10-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> then this is the book for you. <laughs> yeah. why, why are you looking at me? I didn't look yeah, at you. I know what you're talking <laughs> about. Well, you, you also have uh, what, what you call seafarers' logs, which are journaling prompts. What kind of questions are you inviting young people to reflect on, sister? Mm, that's a great question. So we really wanted to build this book so that it actually fosters contemplation. This is something that we all struggle with, but especially now with, like, so much time being spent in front of screens and, like, hyperactivity and everything that we're all struggling with, with online life. Um, we really need to kind of step back and teach ourselves, especially our children, to be able to sit and contemplate the word and allow it to really seep in and affect our life. So the questions that we included are questions that really encourage the child or the reader to reflect on how the Lord is active in their own life in ways that they see, and then also challenge them to look of like, okay, how can I apply this? Now that I've read through it and I can see how the Lord is doing this already in my life, how can I apply it with an action? How can I live it? 
Um, so the different questions are really aimed to do that specifically. So it's truly a lived experience, not just one that stays in your head, but allows Christ to transform your whole being through the gift of his word. Speaking of living the faith, how, how can this book inspire you know, kids and teenagers to really begin to live their faith out in a, in a practical way daily? Yeah, I think so often we approach the Bible as though it's a textbook. I, I was a teacher um, for five years before I entered the Daughters of St. Paul, and I'm a convert myself, so I've definitely had to grapple through these questions myself at around the same age. And when the Lord was able to kind of break Scripture open for me in a lived way, I found that that changed everything. So this book, we really hope, is going to truly practically allow children to learn how to contemplate the Word of God in a, in a way that will kickstart an adventure for the rest of their life to make it accessible to them so they're not afraid to open a full, real adult Bible, um, but also in ways that help them have the courage to enter the sacraments in a deeper, more intentional way. There's a lot of sacramental challenges throughout the book um, in a way that invites them to really pray about a patron saint um, that they might have, in a way that fosters communion between them and the people in their families. So all of those kinds of challenges we're hoping will create space in a child's heart to encounter the Lord in a lived way and learn to encounter him in the faces of others, in the sacraments, in prayer. So hopefully that's a lifelong adventure for them. You know, sister, I'm sure there are people watching right now and they see this, this young person who has committed herself to God. Uh, what, what made you do it, especially as a convert? You know, uh, it's not something I had on my radar, that's for sure. <laughs> I had a priest ask me in confession if I'd ever thought about it, and I never had. And I'm grateful that he asked me, um, or I would never have thought about it. But I think, you know, there's, for at least for me, my experience was I really was longing to give more and to receive more, and I didn't know how. Um, and for me, this the journey of discernment of the possibility of a religious vocation taught me that maybe this, this was the missing link for me. This was the way that I was being called to give more and to receive more radically. Um, certainly everyone has their own experience, but that was mine and I'm very grateful for it. Well, sister, thank you so much for being with us. Where can people get a copy of the book? So this book is available from our sister's web store, paulinestore.com, and it's also available from Amazon. And um, if they live in the vicinity of any of our book centers, our brick and mortar book centers, including Dedham, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. um, they can go get one in person from the sisters. Yeah. Very good. Well, sister, it has been a pleasure today. You have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. God bless Bye. you Bye. God bless you. you.